coal is a public health issue because it creates so much pollution. It is a series of environmental problems and health problems at every stage in the process. These people in the coal fields of southern West Virginia have some of the worst water in the nation. I have put Hitto Gizmo in each one of these glasses. One of them I'm going to fill with good, clean water. And the other one I'm going to put in the same equal amount of my water out of my well. It, it's killing us. That's the reason we're all breaking out in hives and sores and losing our eyesight from the fumes from it and the vapors and the heavy metals. I remember one time uh, mom let me and my, um, my friends swim in the river, but now we can't do that because the polluted waters and stuff. Can't do it now. When, when we, when we uh, drill and blast and blow up these mountains, we are fracturing these rocks that have taken billions of years to form into small little fragments which water contacts. Eventually, the water that runs through that is going to carry off with it the minerals that uh, compose those rocks. And many of those minerals are heavy metals, um, like aluminum and selenium and uh, zinc and copper and uh, mercury and lead, and maybe more scary than any, arsenic. It left unabated the uh, entire aquifer system in southern West Virginia, eastern Kentucky, and southwestern Virginia will be contaminated completely in, in a few more years. From Washington through Richmond and down and down to Charlotte and uh, around the quarter to Atlanta and over to Chattanooga and up to Knoxville and all the way up to Columbus, I mean, this is becoming a continuous megalopolis with no gaps in between. I'm scared because future generations, the, the number one resource that's gonna, that's, that, that wars are gonna be fought over is water, fresh water. If we can begin to really invest in clean energy alternatives, one of the great benefits will be not only will we stop polluting and poisoning our water with coal waste, we will also free up a large amount of water for all the other purposes and needs we have for fresh water, including drinking supplies, recreation, uh, on and on down the list. Coal burning power plants do create some amount of ash that can be caught right at the smokestack. But because it creates so much sulfur dioxide and nitrous oxides that combine together actually create fine particulate matter. Fine particulate matter gets further down into the lungs where it can cause damage deep within the lung that we can't repair. Our body reacts to it in a allergic kind of way. And so we're developing more cases of allergy. And when the allergy's in the lung, it's asthma. Fine particulate matter that's produced by coal burning power plants is estimated to cause 38,000 extra non-fatal heart attacks a year and over 500,000 asthma exacerbations each year here in the United States. The nitrous oxides, when they combine with volatile organic compounds, create ozone. Ozone, when it's way up in the stratosphere, is protecting us from UV light. But when it's here on the ground, it is probably more of a respiratory irritant than any of the other ones that we've talked about. Studies in Los Angeles show that a child who plays three or more sports outside, where you want them, working out, 3.3 times more of those children will develop asthma, and they have shown that lung capacity permanently is reduced in the 10 to 18 year old group that has been out in higher levels of ozone. So it causes not only more cases of asthma in children and in adults, but it also reduces lung capacity of growing children. If you look at where does mercury land from a coal burning power plant, higher concentrations will be somewhat closer to the plant, but it still travels around the world in sort of mid-level atmosphere. When it lands on soil and water, plant life, plankton, algae, and so on, the tiniest fish eats the plant life, it gets eaten by a bigger fish, it gets eaten by a bigger fish. Fish cannot get rid of that mercury out of their body. 
it ends up with high levels of mercury. For humans, it's usually by eating fish that we can ingest mercury. And the studies show that every one of us has a significant amount of mercury in, in our blood. And most of that is from coal-fired power plants. Mercury is a toxin to our brain. And children are especially vulnerable, but the most vulnerable of all is the unborn child. It affects normal development. So there's lower IQ, fine motor problems, autism, attention deficit disorder, mental retardation, a whole variety of neurobiological problems. Mercury is a toxin as well, though, for the kidney. Uh, there's been links with heart disease. At higher levels, it can cause hearing problems, seizures, uh, and even cause death at, at very high levels. 45 states across the United States have fish advisories saying you shouldn't be eating too much of this fish. In many areas, women, particularly of childbearing age and children under 15, are warned to eat no fish. 300 to 600,000 children born in the United States this year potentially will be affected by elevated mercury levels. So whether you're living in Maine, you're living in Hawaii, uh, you're living in Washington or here in Portland, coal burning power plants is a extreme hazard to public health for the pollution and because of the CO2 greenhouse gases that it's creating.